What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to install and use the iHomeNet Smart LED Kit. This is a really great device if you wanna enhance your movie experience or your gaming experience outside of your TV screen. So basically how this works, it has an LED strip and it has a camera and you can connect the camera to the TV. It'll detect the colors that are on the screen and whatever is on the screen will simulate behind the TV how it works basically the LED strips I have the settings set on part instead of all and as you can see right here I put the card the camera detects red on the card and only that side of the screen turns red so let's go ahead and try it out I'm going to download the app and install this kit I'm going to show you how to do the, the whole entire process and hopefully if you find this video interesting or informative give me a big thumbs up and if you know anyone that may be interested in something like this, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. And of course, this device will be listed in the video description below if you're interested in buying one of these. And that link supports the channel at no extra cost to you guys. All right, so step one, let's go ahead and open up the box and set this whole thing up. This kit I got is for a 46 and a 52 inch TV. So it tells you everything that is included. And right here is the instructions. Basically, uh, just peel the tape off and you mount it to the top, right, and left. So make sure you're facing the back side of the TV because you might uh, actually accidentally put the USB cable on the wrong side. So the USB cable has to be on the right side of the back of the TV. After installing the LED strips, then you're gonna have to mount the bracket with the camera. And after you mount the camera, then you're gonna put the calibration stickers on all four corners of the screen. All right, so with this older LED kit, it's cheaper, yes. And you can control it with a remote, but it doesn't really enhance your movie or TV you know, experience because you have to hit these buttons to change the colors. But uh, it's still a nice little kit. I'll leave that link in the video description below if you just want a simple mood light, which is, that's what this is. Now I'm gonna have to remove this right here. All right, now before you get started, I like to use rubbing alcohol, clean the surface on the back of the TV, which is really dusty. Otherwise, the LED strip is gonna fall off while you're watching TV. And this is what I'm using. Just rubbing alcohol, clean this up. To get that blue tape off is a little bit tricky because there's no seam right here. I wish they had a little cut right there so it's easy to peel off. And remember, the USB cable goes on the right side of the back of the TV. Now remember, don't put, don't put the LED strip over the vent or over the screw holes. Otherwise, you can't remove the back cover to repair your TV if your TV ever fails. And if you put it over the vent, your TV may overheat or the adhesive can just loosen because of the heat. And you get these coils and that's how you know that's the corner you don't want to damage the connection right here so instead of like pulling up like that you could pinch it and then right there pull down i'm going to try right inside the screw holes right here i'm going to put it right on the other side of the screw holes so we can still take off the back cover later on well, let's find out how long this cable is for the camera is long enough i could probably put it on the bottom so i'm gonna go ahead and do that this is a 46 inch tv if you're wondering let's clean the surface right here it's labeled camera so you can't really mess that up so on this side right here you plug into the led strip and this is your power and this is the led light letting you know it's powered on i'm gonna mount it right here And we're gonna take the LED strip cable and we're gonna mount, plug it in. It plugs in the bottom right here. And then you wanna mount the camera and take this tape off. And it goes right here. So you wanna just slide it in right there. And push and you'll hear a click. All right, so that's on really good. And then you have this tape. Let's go ahead and remove that. All right, so we're gonna measure the center of the TV. All right, so half of 114 is 57. Measure again, 57, which is right there. 
I'm gonna plug in the camera to the control box. And now we have to plug in the power. Now before you plug in the power, we're gonna put up the calibration stickers. Let's go ahead and take this off. I'm gonna put these in the corners. You wanna make sure that you clear everything from the floor. So uh, about like maybe one meter, which is uh, 40 inches. And you wanna make sure that the room is lit. Um, the color will turn green after the calibration is successful. And then you could turn on your TV. So I just plugged it in and it's calibrating right now. All right, so the calibration is complete because it is solid green, the LED strip is solid green. And now we're gonna download and set up the app to the control box. So download iHomeNet Light and select. All right, it's searching. I'm gonna select that. It's connecting. Please enter the name of the device. It is called I home plate. I think it's connected via Bluetooth. Let's see if it works. It's lower. Oh yeah, it's working. Turn on the TV. So I'm using my PlayStation controller. I'm gonna change the colors on the screen using my theme settings. I'm gonna select yellow, blue, and you could adjust the brightness. Okay, and you could turn it off, turn it on, select music. So it detects sound, no problem. All right, and it has different uh, themes right here for sound. You can select any color you want. Uh, right here, I like it on video mode. When I increased the color to 50 to only up to 70, that did help the camera detect the colors that are on the screen. And it, it changes fairly quick, but I noticed that the, if you select all mode, it just, in my opinion, works a little bit better. See? I'm not sure what mild does. When I click on mild, I don't see too much of a change or difference. So I know what all in part means. Um, basically all is when the, the dominant color on the screen is red, then all the LED strips uh, will turn red. Part would be if the half the screen is red and half the screen is blue, then the LED strips will be half blue and half red. But uh, I'm not sure what dynamic and mild means. I think it dynamic is it would be quick transition and mild would be like a slow transition perhaps. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, go ahead and subscribe to Tampa Tech. Click on this subscribe link right here or the subscribe button down below. And if you wanna check out my other tutorials, 
click on this playlist link right here. And if you know anyone that may be interested in something like this, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them. Thanks guys for watching, bye.